Well, my name is uh, Eugene Ohu. I'm a full-time faculty at the Department of Organizational Behavior Human Resource Management at the Lagos Business School. Today, everybody is talking about big data. What really is big data? In my opinion, big data is just data. It just so happens that technology makes it easy to capture, aggregate, and analyze. But before talking about uh, some things that businesses can do to harness the value of big data, perhaps we can talk about some characteristics of big data. Some would call it the four Vs. The four Vs would be volume, variety, veracity, and velocity. Let's talk about volume. Nowadays, the pace at which data is captured, there is so much data available, more than we had before now. And because of the ease of technology, how cheap memory is now, it's easy to capture a lot of data. Some companies can be talking about 50 terabytes, some can be talking about 50 pentabytes. So there is a lot of volume. So volume is one. Another is variety. There are lots of data now. You can have survey data, you can have structured data, you can have unstructured data. And then we have velocity, the speed at which data is being accrued right now. Websites collect data every day. Now, as we speak, we are capturing data. Your mobile phone is capturing data from the cell tower. We're leaving footprints all over the place. Velocity. And then veracity. How true or how representative that data is of reality. Some would add a fifth V. They would say value. But I wouldn't add a fifth V at this point if we're talking about the characteristics of big data because I would simply say that if you don't make sense of the data you have available, then it has no value. There are many things businesses can do. First of all, understand the problem. Define the problem. What is the problem you're trying to solve? From the marketing point of view, are you trying to understand consumer behavior? For instance, an FMCG, fast-moving consumer goods company, might be interested in opening new channels on digital. To do that, you need to understand the customer. Is that the problem you're trying to solve? So there are all sorts of problems that a business might want to solve. So I would say the first thing is define the problem. And then second, understand the type of data you have. What kind of data do you have? There is scientific data, which involves uh, a lot, lots of human involvement in collecting scientific data and yet has very little impact on real life. You have automatic data, machines collecting data with very little human contribution in the collection, but a lot of impact on human life. But I would say there is a middle ground, which is the mediated type of data in which, okay, there is high power data, but there's a lot of human mediation in whether you use it or not. For instance, many of us wear the Fitbit uh, exercise or whatever tool now. It's there collecting data, but I can decide whether to wear it or not. Amazon makes recommendations on people like you, people who read this book have bought this other one. I can decide to buy it or not. I can decide to have an Amazon account or not. So understanding the type of data. So I would say, having understood the type of data, mediated data is best. Another recommendation I would make to businesses to harness the value of big data would be to keep in mind privacy and legal considerations. I would say that the law protecting the privacy of data is not yet mature. I foresee a time when there will be many class action suits. Why businesses may get value from big data, analyzing them, I think they should keep in mind that protecting the privacy of the consumer or the customer is paramount. A fourth consideration I would give is, is almost a no-brainer. It's simply to tell businesses, start collecting data now. If you don't have historical records, how would you analyze them in the future to make predictions for the future? So don't wait until you have a need to start capturing data. Computer is cheap, memory is cheap. Start capturing the data. It is true that at the moment, many of these data is unstructured. For instance, Twitter feeds are unstructured. Status posts on Facebook are unstructured data. It's not like structured data where you have a bank statement, name, date, and so on and so forth. Many of these are unstructured. Collect them, later on, we'll make sense of it. And then finally, I would recommend, like a fifth recommendation if you like for now, gather a complementary team of experts. I mean, there are many people claiming to be data scientists now. Big data does not interpret itself. 
you might, you, I would say there are three things you really need to make sense of big data. One is domain expertise. If I want to make sense of economic data, I need an economist, not just a data scientist. If I want to make sense of marketing data, I need a good marketer. If I want to make sense of medical data, I need a doctor. So domain expertise is one. This should be one of the members of the team. And then we need statisticians, and then of course we need programmers, be it in Python, Arrow, and so on and so forth. Big data does not interpret itself, and big data is really noise until we can make sense of it. Lagos Business School, Pan-Atlantic University.